Well, yes, it is a whole new paradigm for investors who are looking to invest in mid and small cap funds. Prodded by market regulator SEBI, mutual funds have started releasing the results of stress tests that tell investors how quickly they can expect to get their money back in case of market volatility and heavy redemption pressure. Not just liquidity, mutual funds will also be making additional important disclosures about portfolio concentration, which will give investors another critical data point that must be considered before making an investment decision. Now, this move towards more disclosures comes after the surge of inflows that we saw in mid and small cap funds over the last year. And those numbers are on your screen and you can see how the high was almost 4,500 crores that small caps were getting in October, 3,600, 3,800. But even though it's declined, even the February flows were still close to the 3,000 crore rupee mark. Now, these tests are going to reveal how long it will take for a mid or small cap mutual fund scheme to liquidate first 25% of the portfolio and then 50% of the portfolio in case a scheme gets heavy redemptions. A stress scenario is being described as one when a fund can account for only 10% of market volumes, but when trading turnover overall, is three times the normal because that's what ends up happening in market stress situations. Now let's analyze some of the results that have started coming in and let's look at some mid cap funds to begin with. Uh, let's get that table up for you. Now this is the data that we have to look at. The number of days that it's going to take for a lot of these funds to liquidate 25% of the portfolio and 50% of the portfolio. Now we can see here that the funds at the bottom of the screen, Motilal and Axis, these small cap funds are taking a longer time to liquidate. Five days in the case of Motilal for 25% and 10 days for 50% liquidation. And similarly for Axis, it will take 12 days to liquidate 50% of the portfolio. But we must bear in mind that these are large size funds. Look at the size. In this particular table, Axis is the largest fund with over 25,000 crores in total AUM. So larger the fund, typically it becomes a little more difficult to liquidate. So we should bear that in mind. Now let's look at uh, this data for some small cap funds that I've been analyzing as well. Now again, we're looking at the number of days it will take to liquidate. So for smaller funds like Edelweiss uh, or Motilal, look at the AUM size, it's just about 3,000 crores for Edelweiss, 1,500 odd crores for Motilal. It's taking about you know two days to liquidate 25%, uh, you know, three to four days to liquidate 50% of the portfolio. But again, when the, the sizes are large, uh, Axis is at 19,600 crores AUM, Quant is at 17,000 crores of AUM. Here it's taking longer time, 14 days to liquidate 25% of Axis's portfolio and 28 days to liquidate 50% of that portfolio. So the larger the fund, typically what we're seeing is that it could take longer to liquidate the portfolio. Now let me come to some of the additional important disclosures which MS will make and investors much, must also consider these, not only the number of days uh, that it'll take to liquidate the portfolio. Now for the first of these is portfolio concentration. Mutual funds will now be revealing the percentage of AUM which is held by the fund's top 10 investors. Here, higher the concentration, higher the risk uh, in case any of the big investors decide to suddenly liquidate their holdings. Take this for example. Now here we can see that the highest concentration for instance is in the Motilal small cap fund. That means top 10 investors hold 12% of the fund's corpus. So therefore, there's higher concentration. So again, this is something that should be uh, sort of kept in mind while you're arriving at the decision whether to invest or not invest in a fund. Uh, none of this should be taken in isolation, I must point that out. Now, mutual funds will also be disclosing the concentration with respect to market capitalization. That is how much of the portfolio is in large caps, how much in mid caps, and how much in small cap funds. A high small cap uh, concentration typically spells lower liquidity versus a mid cap or large cap fund with liquidity increasing as you move up the market cap ladder. So higher the large cap per share, lower the liquidity risk. Along with these disclosures, mutual funds will continue to report volatility measures such as standard deviation and portfolio beta. Investors can also assess the overall portfolio valuations via trailing 12 month uh, you know, price to earnings multiples. They'll be disclosed along with the PE of the funds benchmark index. So experts say, say that evaluating all of these parameters put together, liquidity, portfolio concentration, portfolio volatility, and valuations is important in totality before taking that investment call.